Hey, welcome to Lit and Comp 2. Today we're going to go over our two kinds project part one. So in this project we're going to explore perspective and empathy in the story. So here are the instructions and a point breakdown for the project. I'll also show example slides and make sure to not forget that the story is attached to this assignment. Step one of this assignment is to download the Two Kinds Project Part 1 template and save it to your desktop so that you can easily access it while you work. Step two, type your name in the space provided on the slide. You'll receive one point for your name on the slide. Step three is to choose two images or illustrations that symbolize significant and important aspects of two kinds and place them in slide two. These can be hand-drawn or found online. Step four, below or next to each image, write a brief one to two sentence explanation of why you chose the image and how it represents something you read in two kinds. You'll receive six points for two pictures and six points for two explanations for 12 points total. Step five is to select two quotes from two kinds where you see differing perspectives or conflicts between the characters. Type or copy each quote into slide three. Step six, below or next to each quote, explain which character said each quote and what it reveals about the character's unique viewpoint. Six points for two quotes and six points for two explanations for 12 points total. Step seven is to upload the slides and submit. Possible points to be earned for this part of the project is 25. So as you can see, I've attached the audio version of the book of the story, Two Kinds, um, and the PDF and Word version of it. So down here is my project part one example, and I'm using the example of Dark Knight Rises, but you'll be using Two Kinds. And this is where you download and will save on your desktop Two Kinds project part one template. So what I would like to do is share an example with you. So this is my project part one using The Dark Knight Rises. So we can see that I've downloaded my slides and I added my name. Step um, slide two is to put um, two images and explanations in. Um, so my first picture is this symbol of Batman. And my second one is this picture of a broken bridge with that sign of Batman on it. So my explanation of picture one is the bat is a symbol in Dark Knight Rises because it represents having no fear and Bruce Wayne's passion to help the city. My second picture of this broken bridge and then I have an explanation of the picture. The broken bridge symbolizes the disconnect Batman has from Gotham as the city believes he harmed Harvey Dent. So you will be picking two pictures that symbolize the story of two kinds and then explaining those pictures just like I did here. And then you need to put your quotes showing the different perspectives and explanations. So I have some different um, perspectives from The Dark Knight Rises, but you will be doing for two kinds. So you can see in purple here my first quote. I have to go back to Gotham, Alfred. Bane needs to be stopped, and the city needs its symbol of hope, which is written by Bruce Wayne. Now, I have to explain how this shows their differing perspectives. Here, Bruce disagrees with Alfred. He feels he must protect the city and that he can prevail over Bane. So, then I have my quote too. It says, you've given everything for the city, but you can't save it alone. Bane is a formidable foe, and I fear what will happen to you. Perhaps it's time to consider a life beyond the cow. Alfred. So I'm explaining now the differing perspective. Alfred and Bruce have two different perspectives here because Alfred believes Bruce can help Gotham with his brain and resources, not just by being Batman. So these are slides one, two, and three. And when you download those slides, um, you will see a template that looks like this for you to enter your own slides in. So you will download and you'll put your name in the slide here, your two images and explanations, so those pictures that symbolize the story and explanations, 
and then two quotes showing different perspectives and explanations. And that is what you'll be working on.